Put a uh, saw in before, saw in a line. So what I'm going to do is pull back this, pull, uh, make some strokes. So one, two, three, and then away I go. Okay, so with this cut, I'm only going to go down so about a few mils, this is a few mil deep with this cut because it's going to be a start of a cut. I'm going to produce, I'm going to cut this compound angle with a handsaw. So all I'm doing is really just starting by going three, uh, two to three mil deep so that when I'm ready to use the handsaw, it's got another guide to um, follow. Yeah, one that once I cut it. So this is going to be too shallow or not deep enough. This saw blade because one end is it's tapered and then one end. So that when when these are uh, sharpened, what tends to happen? It goes through a machine, and uh, over time, right, the machine takes more of the front than it does at the back. That's why sometimes with tenon saws, especially old ones, you'll find. There's a big depth here, but there's less at the front because the machine's taking more from the front than the back. Um, and that's how it is. So that's why I'm gonna use a hand saw when I come to do this. So this is a tenon saw. I think so this is the tenon saw and this is the hand saw. This tenon saw, it has a finer cut than that, but that doesn't matter. Um, but it's going to help when I actually cut this compound angle with this hand saw. This is a cross cut hand saw. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use when we start cutting. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to start some of these um, uh, elements of using the specialist plane. I'm going to start producing the rebate here using the rebate plane, which is what this is. Now, so my rebate needs to be 25 mil wide and 10 mil deep. So for that, I'll need my ruler. So from the outer edge of the blade, so the outer edge of this uh, blade, I'm gonna measure in 25 mil. Ah, oh, excellent, this is 25 mil, exactly. And then from the tip of the blade, to the depth stop, there wants to be 10. And it's just there, just there, 10. Good, it's ready. So that's ready. So I need to set this, this block, or this piece of timber that I'm gonna do the rebating, it's gonna, what I need to do is put it into my sash, 
block, which is what this is I'm holding in my hands. This sash block, it has two pins, it will locate into there and then I'm gonna stick it in the vice like so. And then I am going to bring my actual piece that I'm gonna rebate into, into the sash ramp. So it makes it easier to start rebating my the part that needs to be rebated. So if I can lift this paper a bit more. So I'm just going to lift this up here and just have it so that I can crown this up. I'm making sure that it doesn't get in the way of the crowns so because you don't want that. So I'm just and that's it. super steady. Right, so, so now my rebate plane uh, is set up so to start rebating, so 25 mil from the outer edge of that blade, so to the edge of the blade, sorry, to that fence is 25. And then from the tip of the blade to the depth is 10. This is all set now uh, in readiness to start rebating. So this is what I'm going to do. So when you're using some, this hand tool, which is you always, we always need to start from the front and then gradually work our way back. That's how we're going to do this. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm going to start with. So I'll just make sure I tighten that vice up. Now, just like when you're holding the saw, you want to keep your index finger out here, have your left hand pressing the actual uh, rebate plate in, and try and hold yourself or hold it upright. Try not to lean one way or the other. Just every so often, they just have a check once you restart getting going. So I'm going to start from the front. <laughs>
So, all I'm doing is really just reaffirming that it is 10 mil there and there, here, yeah, just really checking with the ruler, lovely, 10. Now I've just finished producing the rebate, which is this part on here. I'm gonna then now produce the groove, yeah, using this thing, the power plane. So I'm gonna set this up. Uh, so I'm gonna be grooving out the bottom or right way through using the power plane with this power plane. It looks like a power plane, doesn't it? Okay, so I need to set up this power plane so that it's in the, gonna be in the middle of the groove, which is, or the mark groove, which is 15, because I'm going to use uh, another specialist plane to this wind, widen this groove from 12, which is what this cutter is at the moment, to 15. Right? But I'm gonna place the, the, this 12 roughly in the middle of this pencil line on the actual timber, okay? So, how do I do that? We've got some screws here, spotted screws underneath here, so undo those. Just lightly undo them. Okay. Then I'm just literally going to move the blade or move the plow plane so that it's in the middle of that those marked lines. So if you right, so it just Hand tight. Oh, oh, it's moved. It's not hand tight enough. So let me just do that again. Just position the blade in the middle of those two lines. And I'm going to just hold it nice and firmly and just tighten it up here. It's moved. I'll have to do that again. Okay, so I've positioned the plane again because it moved when I started um, tightening up the screws. All right, let's try and make sure. So I'll position the plane so it's in the middle of those two like the, of the 15 mil lines, the blade itself I'm talking about. It's in the middle of those, that, that, those, uh, that line or those two lines. So now I'm gonna check the depth because this needs to be cutting, or not cutting, this needs to be a depth of 12 mil. So at the moment it's gonna be cutting at 13. So it's a bit too deep. Now the other thing is, is that it's too much blade sticking out, really. So I need to adjust that. So how do I adjust that? Right, so first of all, I un-release this side nut, this side nut here. And then I should be able to pull that blade back by just doing that. Now I'm gonna use that ruler as a guide you just only want it a fraction, a fraction sticking out beyond this line. I say a fraction, probably about a mil would be adequate. Yeah, something like that. So tighten this back up. So just tighten this. Oh, now I'm using pliers or pincers, as they're called, to tighten that up. Now, the tricky part of this, I'm just, just checking that again. Okay, I'm gonna go with this now, because it, it's a full mil. It'll be all right. Now, the depth. Now, I need to release this thread at the top. So this is the depth. So the depth is judged by that. But there's a bush inside. I'm going to show you what I mean. There's 
the bush in here. So this needs to be pressed. Oh, here we are. There's the plastic bush. This sets into that, like so. And then I'm going to pick up my ruler and just from here, from the depth stop, measure 12 mil there's 12 mil to the tip of the blade so there's a tip of the blade there i'm going to rest it on top of there like that. okay so now i'm going to hold that there and just thread this through Okay, so that's good. So let me just tighten that up. Still checking. Checking that is 12. Good. Okay, so. So I'm gonna do the same process that I've done when I was using the rebate plane. And that is Starting from the front, oh. keeping my hands straight, I'll have it pressed in, my hand is pressing in inwards. And I think that's moving. Is it this? where we are is that even though I set it but it's still yeah this is spot on not 12 12 mil deep here yeah. 12 mil 12 look at that 12 okay so okay so now I've um, produced that groove here using the power plane this uh, this hand specialist tool specialist tool that I'm using or specialist plane actually is the proper name for it so, I'm going to introduce another specialist plane, or specialist device, and this this thing. This is what we call a side rebate plane, okay? So what this is going to do, it has some blades here, just at the side, one there and one here, okay? And what that's going to do, if I can turn this around, it's going to widen that groove to the lines by passing along the side of that groove, yeah, like this. It's going to take a shaving from the side, and then we shall, and then I'm going to take it on both sides, this side as well as that side, just to wind it to that line with this, especially uh, this um, tool called a side rebate. Plate. If, for example, if I. The, this plow plane, the blades, they come with a variety of blades, rising, rising from, uh, coming from six mil uh, to, to, uh, to 12 to 15. You can get a 15 mil uh, cutter. Now, if it was, let's say I didn't have, uh, I don't think they have 18, I would need to widen the actual groove to an 18 mil uh, size. So I have a 15 and, I need, and then, I, then I would then widen it using the side rebate plane. So 
This purpose of this exercise is basically, if I have an in-between side, I could widen it using this tool. That's it. You see the shavings there, look. it to like the depth of it so this is the depth here so undo that and then just drop it down to a, whatever oh, okay, depth you want yeah. well, can, you, can you do the width as well no, no you can you can adjust how much blade comes out like right. this way but you yeah that's all here you see undo those and those come slightly forward oh, I see. yeah projects out because the blade is the side Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm doing in this very corner, I'm just gonna scrape just anything that shouldn't really be there, just with a bevel edge chisel, just the bottom of that groove on the left hand side. Just to make it a bit more presentable. What you want, Mr. Jones? So now, so now I've uh, I've finished running the groove using my plow plane, and then widening that groove or widen it. Sorry, producing the groove with a twelve mil cutter, and then widening it out to a fifteen mil. And then I'm I've used that a side rebate plane to widen the the groove to fifteen. So we've done that now.